Hey guys, welcome to Pajama Let's Play. I'm Michelle, host of Pajama Let's Play, where we talk all things Kingdom Hearts. Today, I'm taking another look at the Master of Masters and who he might be based on the Union Cross finale. But before we get into that, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. You can also follow me on Twitch, check out my Patreon. All of those links are in the description box down below. As I stated before, this will mostly be based on the Union Cross finale, so fair warning about spoilers. Now that the story for Union Cross is finished, we actually got a huge hint about the identity of the Master of Masters, which provides just the right amount of evidence to cover a debate I've been having with Chad, the husband. He believes the Master of Masters is Riku, while I believe he's Ventus, and I'm hoping all of you can help us decide. So let's start with this clip from the finale. He said he needs vessels with strong hearts that won't fall to darkness. Well, that's clearly Riku. Many of his strongest moves even rely on his ability to wield the darkness without falling to it. And he's an official Keyblade Master. Also, to be fair, we really don't know anything about Riku's birth, and the Master of Masters makes it clear to Lushu that the ends must justify the means. He could have taken Riku as a vessel at any point in the series, especially since I guarantee the Book of Prophecies mentioned Riku often enough to get his name noticed, just as Ventus's must have been, thus catching the attention of Darkness, the Entity, and we all know how it plays out from there. So now, let's look at this other clip that backs up my side. Ventus is either in the Badlands or an empty Keyblade graveyard. That makes me wonder if he went backward in time, before the very first Keyblade War, and became the Master of Masters, forever bitter with the darkness entity that made him a Union Leader starting this whole path in the first place. So, which one is the Master of Masters? Well, let's take a look at the tail end of that conversation between him and Lushu. He said he witnessed it firsthand, and that clearly was an overwhelming amount of people. That's Ventus. I believe he's referencing the dandelions here being sacrificed with Daybreak Town, but what I think he really meant was himself being taken by darkness and killing Strelitzia. The final piece lies in the true relationship between the Master of Masters and darkness, seemingly equal and opposite forces. Perhaps the very same two forces seen here.
A lot of us have suspected that Ventus is the master of masters for a long time, and having him end up in an empty Keyblade graveyard was the final nail in the coffin as far as I'm concerned. That bit about the hearts that won't fall to darkness, though, was enough evidence to convince Chad that he's right about Riku being the master of masters. But what do you think? Is one of them the master of masters? Is there a different theory you like better? Tell me all about your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, and check out my Patreon, also in the description box down below. Until next time!